Hi everyone, this is Jake with Van Dyke Software. I have vShell version 4.3 installed here on this Windows 2016 server. And in this video, I'm showing off the vShell monitor, which displays real-time connection activity. The vShell monitor app can be launched from the desktop shortcut, the vShell control panel, or from the monitor system tray icon menu. You can also control whether or not the monitor stays active in the system tray by configuring this option here. I'll open a command shell and use the VSFTP command line client utility installed with vShell to show you how the monitor reflects various stages of the connection. VSFTP user at localhost. The vShell monitor shows a connection that has proceeded to the point where we know the username that the client is attempting to use for authentication, but the client hasn't completed the authentication process yet. I'll type in my password, and now the vShell monitor shows it as an authenticated connection. Also note that a little notification pop-up appears to let me know about the new connection if I don't happen to have the monitor up and running. You can control this behavior in the vShell monitor system tray icon menu. vShell monitor reflects that this connection is using the SSH2 protocol along with the SFTP subsystem. I'm going to switch over to my Ubuntu Linux machine where I have SecureFX running, and I'm going to connect with a session that is using the SFTP protocol to authenticate as a different user account. Now you can see this new connection reflected in vShell's monitor. Now I'm going to my Windows 10 machine and I'll connect with SecureFX, this time with the FTPS protocol. Back in vShell monitor, you see the new connection and its protocol identified. I'm going back to my Windows 10 machine, this time to launch SecureCRT to open a shell connection. And you can see that also reflected in vShell's monitor as a new entry using the SSH2 protocol. In SecureCRT, if I connect with an SFTP tab, it uses the same authenticated transport that was already established, and you can see that in vShell's monitor reflecting that an SFTP subsystem is now active for that existing entry. Back on my Windows 10 machine now, I'm going to drag and drop this data folder from my desktop onto SecureCRT's SFTP tab to upload that folder and its contents to vShell. Back in vShell monitor, you can see throughput details. If I don't like what I see there in the monitor, I can kill the connection. When doing this, think about that scene in the Nacho Libre movie where Jack Black screams, Get that corn out of my face! This is the ultimate connection slapdown. Don't be alarmed if you don't see anything show up in the vShell monitor even though you know that there are clients connecting and performing file transfer activity. As I'll demonstrate here, sometimes activity can happen so quickly that vShell monitor doesn't have time to display it because the client connects, authenticates, and completes its activity within a very short period of time. If you want to see all the activity that has already taken place in the past, that's where vShell logging comes into play. But that's a topic for yet another video. In the meantime, stay secure, my friends.